Hi everyone. I'm going to make a pretty quick video on some new updates to NotePlan on the templating system that's recently been rolled out. I really want to make a new video update because I still have continued to use NotePlan every single day since I got this thing, um, since NotePlan 3 came out. But things keep coming out in NotePlan and I keep refining my system and I just haven't had time to dig into that. Anyway, in this video, I just wanted to share very quickly some things that I wish I had seen a video for that I had to figure out when getting started with this new template system, which is really great, actually makes things much easier. And I just wanna share kind of what I wish I had seen. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this stuff is more technical than I'm actually totally comfortable with. So excuse me if I say anything wrong in this video again, just walking you through what I've learned and hopefully this will help you out. So with this new templating system, there are some templates that are available right here and you can actually edit these templates. All of those are gonna be available in this smart folder section under templates. You'll see them all here. And these are basically the pre-built-in ones. I haven't touched them too much. I have some old templates, but I'm trying to kind of get a fresh start on thinking through something. So I'm gonna show you mainly what's available for everybody. You're gonna find them here. Now, these are editable. If you really wanna dive deep, go into this documentation and you'll learn everything you wanna know and then some. But I'm gonna keep things pretty simple and start with, there's two types of notes that you're gonna find in this template. And the ones that say empty note, and you're gonna see the ones that say meeting note. Now the ones that say meeting note up here at the top, what those are for is when you have now an event in your calendar, you can link the note, and that's going to link to one of these meeting note type templates. So what that allows you to do is create a note that's automatically gonna be populated with the event title. So in this case, it would say sample event. It would link it to that calendar event and it would give me space to type in agenda and notes. I'll show you how that works in a minute, but I really wanna focus on this video on these ones that say empty note because that is what it means when I go into like my daily note and I see this template. These ones, right now there's only five of them and those are the ones that I can insert into any daily note or project note. So let's go ahead and use that daily note simple. So you'll see there that all it does is it populates it with tasks and journal. It asks me how did things go yesterday? How did things go today? Now even though I'm on the 30th because I wanted to jump to a blank note, you'll see that I'm recording this on the 26th, and that's why it says yesterday is the 25th. So that's just because if you look at the daily note, it literally says that this code right here is just saying, you know, put in yesterday's date and then put in now today's date. If you're not a coder like me, don't worry about it. You can actually figure out some of these tagging system if you go into the documentation here, you can learn some things about the sample tags that it gives you, but I wanna keep this video as simple as I can, of just like, again, what I needed to get started. Let's look at the daily note with prompts and events. On this one, you need to actually first install the events plugin in order to make it work. So how you do that is if you go to your preferences and you go to plugins, make sure that you have event helpers downloaded because that's what you need to make it work. Now you can actually go into the settings here to customize your settings and you can look through this to change anything. Honestly, the only thing that I changed, so I wanted to change what calendar it default wrote to. You can change the default event duration. And then the other thing that I personally changed is that it by default, it said hour 12 equals false because it was 24 hour time and I wanted it to be on 12 hour time. Like I like to write my times with AM and PM. Please don't fault me for saying that. Anyway, so I changed hour 12 to true so that you'll see. Let me go into my daily note. I'm going to just delete this one so that I see the template again. And I'm gonna do with prompts and events. So what it does is it asks you your mood. So I'm gonna say I'm happy. And what's my most important task today? Record note plan video. And then at this point, you'll see that my event says home because it's on my home calendar and it says sample event and that's at 12 p.m. If I hadn't changed the time format, it would have just said 12 o'clock and like 
1 p.m. would have said 1300. That was something that I had to think for a minute, where am I gonna find that setting? So that's what I wanted to tell you. The moods, if you wanted more than just those three moods, you can go into this daily note with prompts and events and you could put in more emojis if you wanted to. So that's all I've been messing with. I've kind of been looking at what is written here and then maybe I would add a couple things uh, to customize it or maybe change the order of things or how this all looks and I add more headings for myself um, based on how I like things. So that's how you do a daily note. Now let's open up another pane. I love the side by side. I do this all the time. So you open up the window side by side by holding down the option key and clicking on another day right here. You could also click on another note to open up all of them side by side. I love this. I have to do a more detailed video because basically if I do something like this and I want to move it to the next day, this is how I just set up like three days in a row, all side by side and I open them all and then I just like drag and drop to move my tasks. So I might have like things that I wanna do for the week and then I drag them into the individual days. Something else that you can actually do, let me move this. If I wanna move it onto any day in my calendar, I can just drag it here and boom that happens, so that's beautiful. Anyway, um, my point in doing this was to show that, you know, if it was blank, then I saw template, right? So that was easy, intuitive. But if I have something written already on a day, which a lot of my days, you can see I plan in advance stuff, so I might not have a blank day and I still wanna run my template. You can do that by opening up the command bar, forward slash, note plan insert. It would insert a template and you just choose whichever template you want. So let's go with the simple template. So that just would add it underneath of anything that you had written there. If you don't see this little template button, then all you do again, command J, that slash, and then you can just start typing template and you'll see that come up and you can just select it and you can add multiple templates. So say that one thing that I haven't added yet, but I personally have is an evening reflection. And so I wanna do that at the end of the day. So you could, you know, add in another one. Let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see that now that got added in to the bottom because they just keep adding. So you can definitely use multiple templates on the same note. Now I've been talking all about just daily notes, but just so you know, the templates can also be used on your project notes. Again, you just wanna trigger it by that command J and then start typing in like template. Last thing, because I wanna keep this as brief as possible, let me just show you how these sample events work. So if I have a sample event, and if I link the note, the ones that were in here said append, and if you want to prepend instead, because I like to add to the top, that's what I have here. Let me show you how I did that. So I would just choose the prepend to current note, create meeting note, and so that just adds it to the top of that day that I was on. So I was on this Saturday day, and you'll see it links to the actual event that's there. And then I can put in my agenda and my notes and so forth. So that's a beautiful new feature. I personally tend to use this link, and I just like to prepend to current note, but my current note that I'm usually in is actually one of my project notes, because I usually just have a recurring project note, and I keep adding the newest meeting that I'm in to the top of it and that keeps things simple for me personally. So how did I do the prepend? So append was already there. So this is what I did. I copied this whole note right here and then let me just, I don't need two windows open. Let's do it again. So again, I copied this append to current note and then I made a new note just like that. Then pasted in the whole thing. I obviously called this prepend right here. And then where it said append, I changed this to prepend and that worked. So that's all you have to do. Let me move that one to trash. And the same thing applies if you want to make any new notes that you like. Say you want to keep this template, you don't wanna modify it, but you wanna like duplicate an add-on. So maybe you want a daily note detailed or something like that. You would just copy this whole thing and then you add a new note right here. Make sure that it's in your templates folder and anything you add to the templates folder is now going to be available when you go to your daily notes 
go over here to the templates, you would see any of the ones you added on, or again, use Command J. I ended up talking a little bit more than I wanted to, but I really just wanted to show some quick little things that I thought were essentials to getting started. Maybe this will be helpful to you. And if you haven't tried out Note Plan yet, I really encourage you to try it out. And I really encourage you to try this split view, like I was saying, you can resize all of these. Let's make the sidebar smaller. And you can literally have multiple windows open just like this. And you can just highlight like this and then drag to move anything around. Like obviously these would be tasks, not headings like I have right now. And that's just how I've been working. And then if you want to move between dates, like you know, you're on May 8th here, but you want to go to May 9th, you can just move back and forward. And these are all like calendar dates right here. And then you have your calendar in the sidebar to navigate to any of those. And then one other thing to know is, so I was saying option click to open them all in different like windows like this, but you can also use command click and that will actually pop your note open in an entirely different window. So I use that a lot of times if I'm just like taking notes and I want to have just the attention on one thing at a time, then I just open up command click either a project note or a daily note so that I just stay focused on like this one thing and I don't have to worry about any of the noise in the background. So I'm just writing in one note like this. So anyway, I hope that you found this helpful and useful and I think that's all I got for today. Bye.